Hello, everybody. It is the fifth day in Spain. I feel like I have been here for many years or many months, and it's not even been a week. I feel like I have a lot to say. So, I haven't really felt sad today, which is, I think, a breakthrough. Um, I'm still getting used to all of the culture shocks, um, and just being away from everything I know, and being with a stranger, and meeting new people, but today was a lot better. Um, I will start off saying with, this morning I want to puke my guts out, um, don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm like allergic to alcohol or I have a sensitivity or maybe it was the type of thing I drank. I had one beer yesterday. It was like this lemonade beer thingy. I don't know. And I don't really know how much alcohol it had in there because I, I was trying to convert in Google and I had no clue. So, but I don't, it definitely was not strong tasting. But I had one and this morning I wanted to puke my guts out and I didn't feel hungover. But I just felt, like, sick to my stomach. Like, I don't know what it was. It wasn't, like, like the feeling of, like, you know, like, all in your... Like, it was just, like, my stomach. So, I don't know. But this happened to me before. Although I didn't, like, puke. But this morning, like, this was, like, bad. Like, I felt like I had, like, food poisoning or something. Like, like I don't want to go too much into details. But it was... It was bad and of course the mom came home this morning and walked in while i was about to go vomit everything out so i had to hold it wait till she went to sleep because she was works at night so she slept in the morning and i was trying so hard to quietly vomit in the toilet and it was just really bad and it was kind of raining today but nonetheless it was a good day so Okay, all the things I'm about to say are going to sound really bad. So, we went over the vomit. <laughs> we went over the rain, right? And I also missed my stop on the train. So, but it, trust me, it was a good day. Um, so, yeah, I was vomiting. I felt just really sick and tired and just like... But I already told my friend, like, I, I did want to hang out with my friend today and like... I wanted to see her and we planned it and I finally had today off so like I wasn't gonna miss that and stay at home so I took the bus which I figured out and it was really easy to use okay I really hate how I have no storage on my phone so I have to talk kind of fast but so I had to take the bus from the town I'm living in which is Salt and go to Girona which is the next town over and that was fine in Dandy then I had to take another bus to go to the town in Girona that my friend lives in and that's where it got confusing because I was using the GPS but I couldn't find the bus and obviously I can't ask anyone because no one really speaks English you know you, it's also it's like hello this is future me I am editing this video and I realized I never finished my story but basically what I was saying was um couldn't find the other bus that I was supposed to take so I had to take the train instead and the thing about European trains if you don't know this because I didn't it's not like American train systems where like you know you, the stop is there and then the the person the conductor on the train goes all right this is a stop everybody come out okay is everybody off good then they close the doors and they keep going here there's no like conductor no one's telling you to get off at this stop so I write on the screen oh this is my stop but the doors weren't opening, so I was like, okay, why aren't the doors opening? So then I see a, a door open, like, halfway down the train, so I, like, get up, so confused, and I'm walking towards that, and then all of a sudden I hear this beeping sound, and then the door is shut, and then I'm like, what the heck? And I notice there's a button on the door, so I click it, thinking it's gonna do something. It did nothing, because I pressed it too late, and so the train went off, and everybody was looking at me like, what is wrong with this girl? Because... I'm just a stupid American who obviously didn't know that I was supposed to press the green button on my own individual door 
to get off at the stop and you also have to press a button to get onto the train so that was something i didn't know and so i ended up going like two stops over i was freaking out and i told my friend i was like uh, i don't know what to do so it's so funny because it just so happened that day their old au pair was coming to visit and say hi to the kids and give everyone haircuts because she does like she does hairstyling and so i ended up meeting her at the same train stop that, that um i got off at and it was really cool and then <laughs> so i got to their house and you know we just got along really well me and her and um got her number and i just like i felt really at peace that day despite the throw up and the rain and the getting lost on the train like it was a weirdly a really good day and i just felt like at home almost i i'm used to like having a bunch of kids running around because of my siblings and I, I just felt like i was with my siblings again and i felt like i was at home and i really like the parents that my friend stays with and like they're just really funny and kind people and i was just there with them and i was obviously tired and and stuff like that but i just really liked being at their house and i just felt comfortable and i got to see my friend and you know like i think that seeing another familiar face just like made me feel better and it, it was just a really good day despite all of that i don't remember anything else i was gonna say because now i've been here for like a week and three days um so yeah okay back to the past Cranberries, it's good. Let's see. Mm -hmm. With the berry. Oh my god. So good. Oh my god. Wait, that's really good. Can I just take this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we have a salmon bagel. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm not sure about the bagels here. I've never had a bagel. Mm. This is crazy. This is not enough. This I know. We're gonna have to eat this one up. Potato, cheese, and cranberry. Ah. Wow. Ah. No. No. I can't get it.
literally me when I got that award from the tree. <laughs> that was my exact reaction. <laughs> I didn't know I could run that fast. It's a damn orange. We didn't account for the orange time. We just booked it and we made the train just in time. Not only were the machines not working, never but happened the, before. The two slowest, oldest people were in charge. No one of them just got up and left when it was our turn. Yes. Just saw us, didn't acknowledge us, just walked, just walked away. Yeah. Made it. Okay.